Just letting you guys know, there is a new episode of my No Bleeps podcast up on anywhere you stream podcasts and on my No Bleeps YouTube channel. Hey guys, it's Spilly and welcome back to Spill Sesh. We are talking about Trisha Paytas going off on James Charles, you guys. This was absolutely unexpected, but everyone is just like, is this a joke? Like, is Trisha freaking serious? It started out with her just randomly bringing him up and then it turned into a five part TikTok series of her going off on James. So basically for the past couple of days, Trisha has been going off on the Ace family and has completely turned her TikTok into an Ace family hate TikTok page. She's been saying how horrible they are and all this stuff. And in the midst of one of her TikToks, she brings up that James Charles is narcissistic and sociopathic. And this is just like, uh, what? It was so random. She was just in the middle of saying that she sees more red flags and scary red flags in the Ace family than she sees in anyone else. And then randomly brings up James Charles. And it's just like, okay, what? That was so out of nowhere. I'm seeing like so so many scary red flags like more so than like anyone else i've seen like yeah james charles is like narcissistic and sociopathic but like they, they have kids and james ended up seeing the tiktok because i'm sure a lot of people were sending it to him because a lot of people were sending it to me and they were like do you see what trisha is saying right now like why did she even bring up james she did not have to do that and james commented and said keep my name out of your mouth you do not know me after this trisha decided she was going to go on this five part TikTok series of going off on James Charles because of this comment. In part one, Trisha says that, you know, it's true. She doesn't know James, but this is a big guess for her as to why people don't like him. And she's speaking directly to James most of the TikTok. She's saying that he's arrogant for thinking that he can tell people to keep his name out of their mouth and that he's a public figure and that people can talk about him and how dare he think that he can tell people what to do and like, you know, what to talk about. And she said that he literally makes all of his money based on the fact that he's always in drama and like for better or for worse it's true that he's always in drama and makes money off of drama and that he is never humble he never apologizes for anything and that he's full of himself and she also thinks that he's 19 when he's actually 21 and she says that he keeps getting away with stuff but he's dumb and makes tati look like albert Einstein and told him not to be a little B. Now, in terms of this first part, all I have to say is that I do think that James is in drama a lot, but I think the reason why he is in drama is because of the fact that last year he was in such a major scandal. So he's no stranger to drama. Obviously this year, the dramas that he's gotten into have been about not being humble with the entire like going off about thinking Alicia Keys is coming out with a makeup line and being mad that celebrities are coming out with these makeup lines, getting mad over the Lauren Conrad thing. But I don't think that James is like as terrible as Trisha is saying that he is because she's like saying some really nasty things about him and I don't think that he deserves this. I mean, she randomly just called him narcissistic and sociopathic without even ever meeting him and she admitted that she's never met him before. So I think that's just a pretty big statement to say just out of nowhere and expect the person to react kindly when you're saying those things. So that's part one. Part two, she says, you know, your time is coming, James. Your cancellation is going to be insane, which it's weird. It's like she doesn't even remember drama getting happened and he like already got canceled and he's like on this whole redemption path right now. But she says that he's going to be the Tyler Oakley of 2020, where in four years from now, people are going to be like, who when they hear about James Charles? And then she says that Tyler Oakley is also full of himself. And I'm just like, oh my gosh this is insane like she's going off on everyone and she tells james to just own his stuff and don't act like you have the authority to tell people to keep your name out of their mouths because he's gonna go down really quick if he keeps doing that and she also says that he's lucky that he had this whole revival with these tiktok stars but pretty soon he's going to be too old and too creepy to be leeching onto teenagers all i have to say about this is that it's true that a lot of people anytime I make a video about like nikita or James hanging out with people from the Hype House, they're always like, why is James hanging out with teenagers? Honestly, all the people in the Hype House, with the exception of Charlie, 
are actually the same age as James or just like one year younger. Like it's true, like most of them are 20 or 21. It's really not weird for you to be hanging out with someone one year younger than you. The only person that is young is Charlie and her older sister is there. So it's like, I feel like younger siblings are always hanging out with their older siblings, friends and all this stuff. So I don't think that he's being creepy in any type of way or like leeching onto them in a creepy way. But anyways, she says that he needs to be careful. The cancel culture doesn't escape everyone and that he's been lucky a few times, but he needs to be careful and then in part three she says that she knows that she's petty and she's about to be petty trish which i felt like she was already being petty trish but she says that she tries to understand people but her and james are the same and that they are not cute enough to have this kind of attitude Noah back in Addison Ray can get away with this, but not him and her. And she says that he is drama and that Addison and Noah would never, cause they're cute. And she says like, you and me are not cute. And I'm just like, what? Oh my God, what? First of all, Addison Wright and Noah Beck have been in drama this year. Like they've been in drama, especially Noah Beck. He's gotten into some trouble hanging out with the Sway Boys for sure. Her saying that James is not cute. This is just girl, oh my goodness, so rude. And then she says that he needs to take some accountability and take a note from Tana Mojo. I think this is one of my favorite lines from the entire TikTok series. Cause I'm just like, what? No one should ever take a note from Tana Mojo, like not from her apology book. No, 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 no. Cause then she continues and says, a little bit goes a long way, even if it's a fake apology. Like what? No, uh, no, 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 no. We cannot be preaching fake apologies. Oh my gosh. So in part four, she says that you don't know me and you can't talk to me this way. And she says, congrats to James because he is the only person that she actually hates and that things should be canceled. And she said that she would rather basically like hang out with Gabby Hanna and like see Tati and be friends with David Jobrick than ever have to see another one of James Charles comments or be condescending online and be sassy in the DMs, which I feel like this is just all over the place. I mean, Trisha has wanted to cancel Gabby. She's wanted to cancel Tati. She's wanted to cancel David. She's like gone off on them. She says she hates them. So the fact that she says James is the only person that she hates, it's like, girl, we know you don't like a lot of other people especially when she recently just went off on Jacqueline and she says that she's never even met Jacqueline. So the fact that she's out here saying that she's never come for someone that she's never met before either, it's like, no, 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 that's untrue. And then she mentions that he's been sassy in the DMs and I know this is her kind of throwing shade because James was sassy in the DMs towards Ethan Klein when he brought up that he felt like James stole the designs from Teddy Fresh. And since Ethan and Trisha are friends, I know that she was referring to those DMs in part four of her TikTok series. Now in part five, this is the final one. And she certainly went out with a bang because she just went off and she called him a bunch of names. She said he was bratty, self-centered, a bunch of others that I can't say. And and she once again brings up that he commented to keep his name out of her mouth and that she was not happy for it and that she doesn't even know him and that she cannot be talked to that way by him and that she doesn't come for anyone that hasn't come for her before but he is the one person that is lucky enough to get called out by Trisha when she doesn't even know him. And then she says like, how are you a human and who raised you? That's how she ended it. And I definitely am just like, wow, Trisha really went off on this one. This is just yikes, yikes all around. I don't think that James is going to respond to this. I don't think he should respond to this because if he does, Trisha is probably gonna upload a YouTube video. I wouldn't be surprised if she like uploads it as I'm editing this video because it just seems like her to go from like one TikTok to a TikTok series to a whole YouTube video about why she doesn't like James Charles. And also she was friends with Jeffree Star for a really long time. And I feel like maybe her views of James Charles are also probably a little bit biased based on whatever Jeffree has told her because obviously Jeffree made a lot of people in this world think that James was a very terrible person. So she obviously doesn't have the best view of him and I'm sure it's from Jeffrey. So anyways, let me know what you guys think about this entire situation. This is so insane. 
but I want to hear your thoughts. Anyways, I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys. Oh, my God.